when you talk about bias, you have to go back very far to the fights between Christians and Muslims, of course. That people who felt that if you weren't a Christian, you must be bad. Now, I say the Muslims felt the same way. They felt that the Christians were bad. But, of course, what's important for us is what the Christians thought, because they got the power. The Christians got the power, and they decided to do something about the, the Ottomans. They were against the Ottomans. And the only things that were reported in Europe and in America were the stories that were told by local Armenians, Greeks. They didn't believe the Ottomans. They didn't believe the Turks. But also, the Turks were not very good at public relations. They weren't very good at telling their story. And even after the First World War, at the end of the First World War, when Armenians were telling people in America and England and France, they were saying that Turks had done terrible things. The Turks should have said, should have said, well, what did you do to us? Of course, Turks did some bad things, but so did Armenians, so did Greeks. Everybody did bad things in a war, right? But the Turks did not do that. And the reason, well, it's sad, but it was a good reason. Because at the end of, World, at the, end of the Independence War, Mustafa Kemal Pasha put his, through his policy of yurta sulh, jihan sulh, of peace at home, peace abroad. This was an essential policy because the Turks had been forced out of so much that people were saying, on to Selanik, keep on fighting. And Mustafa Kemal said, no, we stop here. The fighting ends. We stay in Anatolia. We build a new country. This was a good policy. But unfortunately, it meant that after, even after he died, people kept this policy. They said, we won't talk about Armenians. We won't talk about what they did to us. We won't mention this. And unfortunately, that stayed until, really until the 19, late 1970s, 1980s. That policy only changed when the Armenian terrorists started to kill Turkish diplomats. And then Turkish people, Turkish scholars, Turkish government began to realize that people, people didn't understand. And so it's only now that things have gotten started. And that's one of the reasons it's so hard to convince people, because all they've heard for hundreds of years, all they've heard is uh, stories about the Turks, most of which were lies.